afternoon, Kitka lovers. Today we're going to prepare a cake. Um, for this recipe, we will need one yogurt that after pouring it in the bowl, we're going to use for the mixture. We're going to use its cup for the measure. The ingredients are three eggs, one yogurt, of course, one cup of oil, three cups of flour, two cups of sugar, one small teaspoon of vanilla sugar and one baking powder envelope. Okay, so before doing the mixture, first we have to open the oven and put it at 180 grades and let it heat while we prepare and mix all the ingredients. First, we're going to put the yogurt as we will need this recipe for the other um, things. We put it in the bowl. After we've put the yogurt in the bowl, we have to clean the cup in order for um, putting the other ingredients without problem. Then we use another spoon for putting the flour in the cup. and we pour it. Once we've put the three cups of flavor, we will put two cups of oil. One cup of oil, sorry. After we've put the cup of oil, we will proceed with the two cups of sugar. And two. Uh, easy recipe we can do with our little kids at home these days that we have to be confinated. So and um, that's why we are doing it. Then put the little teaspoon of vanilla sugar. We open the envelope of baking powder. And we put the three eggs in the mixture. Everything is put in the bowl. Slowly, we start to mix it. Once we've um, done the mixture and we've reached an homogenic consistency, we put it on this plate. And after everything is smoothly and um, disposed in the, um, in the cooking object, we put it in the oven. Now that it is smoothly, smoothly poured, we put it in the oven and we let it rest for um, approximately 20-30 minutes. We have to um, keep an eye on the, on the cake and with a um, knife or some metallic structure, we put it inside the cake and so if, and we will see if it's done or not. If it's wet, it still needs some more time on the oven. If it's dry, it's already re um, done to it. Finally, after 40 minutes of the cake in the oven, we have it prepared. Now it's time to do the covering. And what we will do? We will take dark chocolate and we will um, melt it in order to do the covering. And after all, we will use the Kit Kat in order to decorate it in our, in our liking. We have to um, cut the chocolate in small pieces and put it one minute in the, oven, in the microwave at a temperature of 600. If you have 750 in your, in your microwave, do it as well. It's possible too. After one minute of having it in the microwave, we take it off 
in order to control how the hour separately is. We mix it a little bit. And if needed, we keep it on putting it in the oven until it is fully melted. Now that it's perfectly melted, we're going to put it over the cake that we've pre previously taken out and put in a plate. You can do it however you want, but we like to do it this way. We have to stir it all around the cake in order to have all the parts covered with the chocolate. Now, when it's done, we let it cool. But before letting it cool, we're going to put our special our special ingredient, which is the Kit Kat. And, for example, I put it in small pieces over this cake. When we have our Kit Kats put in the um, cake and it looks so tasty, before being able to eat, we have to put it in the fridge in order to let it cool and when it's all cool, we, we will be ready to eat it. Ciao!